going to emphasize on certain things that why and how we have to take an extensor lateral approach that is my workhorse for my calcaneal fracture fixation uh, maybe i am a little skeptical about sinus tarsi as it doesn't have any bailout options for me and this has always worked well for me in anything so anything about sanders 2 i will do an extensor lateral extensor lateral approach so uh, yes first thing in calcaneum as everyone has told we have to wait we have to be patient and if you have a wound problem your patient will be worse than if you did nothing so be careful all these blisters and all have to settle down and then come i also do all my calcaneum in lateral position and this is what is what i look at so if i have to put an incision it has to be slightly obtuse it has to be at the skin crease from how do i decide my extent anti uh, like superior extent is from the inferior end of lateral malleolus and the fifth metatarsal base from this end the line that kind of crosses or extends up to the tendo achilles is where i will extend my incision so this is what is my landmark i avoid going through all these ecchymosed areas and i am slightly posterior and inferior to these lines so this is my line so uh, like angiosome angiosome wise this is the peroneal angiosome which you kind of avoid and the picture is shown over here so you if you are handled your soft tissues well this is going to cause you least complications in wound and you can also avoid the sural nerve which kind of passes in this tissue flap per se so when you are over here that's what the incision looks as this is the point that i mark this is i extend this is the top end and this is my incision so this is the tibia this is the toes i slightly obtuse it i don't make sharp edges i make it curved which makes me kind of sometimes avoid dog ears at the end uh you retract it with uh, k wires like i normally hold k wires over here as it seen over here and this is what it is so extension normally is around 5 cm from the calcaneal tuberosity this is the line that i look at so that my entire posterior facet is well exposed without me struggling so very often uh, as foot and ankle surgeons uh, you don't get too many assistants so you need to be uh, independent on your own and this is what it helps me so i i don't like to struggle and if you made a generous incision you will not struggle intraoperatively and more importantly your patient will not have any wound complications also thank you very much